What is, what's up guys? So I want to circle back with you guys for, I guess, two week update, which is kind of crazy. I don't know when, uh, I think it was two weeks ago. Um, it's been two weeks working at my new job and I just want to give you all overall update. I'm trying, uh, I don't even know where to go with this. Wow. Wow. What an amazing two weeks. I don't know how to put it into words, but everything happened for a reason. The, I'm at a job that I love with people that I love and it's just been a good two weeks so far. Um, I've created three or four videos for them, multiple daily content for them as far as Instagram, um, basically handling all their socials. And it's just amazing the difference when you in, you're in in the position of life. I don't know how to say that. You're where you're supposed to be in life. And it really clicked. I mean, I'm really thoroughly happy. I'm way happier than I ever was. And it's just amazing to be in this position. And I know I said that in the last video, but I just want to kind of give a circle back with you guys and show you a, little, a couple of the projects that I worked on. And I find myself getting better quick. So like in the past two weeks, I've put out three or four videos and a couple pieces of content. But as far as like branding and creating um, overall brand for them, I find myself improving and evolving very, very quick. And it's only been two weeks and it translates to my own stuff, which that, that gets me so excited that I'm focusing on them, but ideas that are that I'm creating for them spark other things for myself. And it's really cool. And it brings me clarity on where I want to take my personal stuff and the difference between f f um, timeless brands like the Vans, the Adidas, the, it's pretty cool. And just conversation, I mean, all I do is, all we do is talk about brand and marketing <laughs> on a daily basis. And that's the coolest thing and you know, I can go on and on about how how much I love my job right now, and I will for a second, but it's uh, it's really cool. It's really, really cool to be able to improve my quality tenfold within two weeks. I feel myself getting better. I feel, every day I feel that I've learned so much more in two weeks than four years of doing it by myself. I do want to get back to making videos. It is, it is one of my goals once everything settles down. I want to start making videos and, and really start putting out more content for this channel because it, it was fun and I want to get back there. Right now I'm, I'm standing up a new line of clothing. Uh, we're switching everything. Um, I, I, I can go in different ways. So I'm just going to go in one kind of a different direction. I know I'm all over the place. But we decided, or yeah, we decided to unite our brand as a whole and uh before when we started this everything was because daddy and you know focused around fatherhood and it still is and it's always my my calling as far as where i want to take the brand is more so finding your own cause and finding your own way of life and you know my stuff may not be or my path may not be your path and um so we decided to re brand the website and pretty much recreate everything and I want to take our brand into a different direction and it's now unitebecause.com I always write my thoughts down and and I like to um, I like to come out with with I do something I want to make it I want to do things for a specific reason so when we when I started to I formulated the idea of dropping the word daddy in our brand almost a year ago yeah, it was right after we right after we dropped the second or the yeah the second line or the second collection. Um, maybe it was over a year. Anyway, who cares? Uh, I started to formulate an idea of the whole because be the cause, everything around that, and that's when we started to make the pivot. And over the past year, I couldn't find a domain that I liked, and searching every single other month, give or take, for hours and hours, just trying to figure out. Do I want to change the whole brand name? Do I want to figure, you know, everything. I thought of everything, doing everything. I just like the idea of uniting our cause, a place for community. So without further ado, I wrote this down and this is the exact, this 
description on what, what it is. We started Unite because in hopes to give a home for all the dreamers. This is a place for community. We all, we all have our cause and not everyone's is the same. We wanted to create a place where we can chase them together. Whether you're a father, engineer, musician, or artist, we are all chasing our ultimate goal of happiness. Let's get there together. Time to unite our cause. And with that, I present Unite Because. So, that's the reasoning. Drop close bonds. Super happy about it. I think I finally figured out what I, where I wanna take our brand and what I wanna do with it. And with that, I'm coming out with a whole new collection on um, the 14th that drops. But I'm sure the sweatshirt's not done. Um, we're gonna be doing different something different with uh, the drawstring, uh, but this is here. And we may add a couple features, but we have our reflective stuff coming in. Not coming in, it's actually over there. But we have a reflective shirt, um, bunch of other stuff. A lot of hoodies. Actually really hype. I do want to show you guys some of the projects that I was working on. So we did, first we did was like a shop overview because everything from Raysang is uh, pretty much in-house. Um, a lot of the hand brush, I mean, it's, it's amazing. So I created a video on kind of their process and what their business looks like. And then they're coming out with sequ sequential shift paddles, which is cool because I never knew they actually made them, but the way Jarrett is the owner. The way he's designed the shape of the actual paddles is ridiculous. Like he goes on a tangent um, multiple times and I caught, did I catch it on film? No, Pure Functions caught it on film. It looked like a mod, a cool looking mod. Sure. But it also has a Porsche language to it. Sure. So, you know, I'm mimicking and able to dial in you know, see this edge detail? Well, I mimic that edge detail. Um, you can see this this cut right here. I actually make my part mimic it. So when it's bolted on, you're not getting something that's alienated. It looks nice there. During our event, which was also cool, we had our event, which was a success, huge. New Clutch Kick and Cancer. Um, we did a first Clutch Kick and Cancer. So much happened. So Clutch Kick and Cancer event. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go on tangent. But anyway, I created a couple of videos for them, and I just wanted uh, for you guys to check it out and see what I've been working on, see what I've been hustling at, and uh, the hustle never stops, it's just somewhere else. Did our Clutch King Cancer event, which was awesome. All my friends came out, which was so cool. That was success, was a success. All my friends came out. We had um, 50, 60-ish cars at one point. It was pretty cool. It was really cool. Music, clo you know, clothes. All my family was there. Um, racing helped out a tremendous, such such an amount. And, uh, oh my God, stop yawning. They, they, it was just a fun time. We had such an amazing time. And I tried to capture it on video, but I don't, it was, it was one of the special days that even with a cool edit or anything, it just couldn't in embody the actual event. It was really cool. It was a good experience. And um, I'm happy that I, I'm able to do that. And we're doing it again next year, which is awesome. We're going to do two events, not Clutch King Cancer, but we're going to do one Clutch King Cancer and then one open house racing event. So um, it's pretty cool. I'm I'm just happy to be where I'm at right now. It's such a, it's a wild experience to be work doing what you love for a company you love in an industry you love and i said that last video but we have a lot of cool stuff i think i'm gonna drop my sneakers you guys ever see my sneakers these are worn and dirty but these are our vans we made i've already wore these a bunch of times they're our vans our logo be the cause even inside is printed on it's pretty cool i might drop these i'm not sure i wanted to um I wanted to make sure that they're gonna stand the test of time before I put them out. Not sure about this, but those are cool. I might drop them. All right, guys, I just wanna give you guys a quick update. I will be back eventually, one day. Um, just get, get me on social. I go heavy on stories and try to do what I used to for the vlog, and I just do it for the stories. Just do funny. I don't know, just have fun with stories on Instagram. So if you guys hit me up on Instagram, 
I'm always responding to everyone and I love you guys and have a good night. I'm gonna go edit. Hopefully get to bed before three o'clock in the morning and I'm there. I let you boy. And Nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back Real quick I just want to show you this reflective, so ready? Watch this, whoa you see how it's like shiny? It's kind of crazy. It never shows up in videos or pictures, but if it hits the light in the right way, it's so crazy. The reflective stuff, it's sweet. And this is the, the windbreaker, the camo windbreaker. We're still working on other stuff. Lots and lots of good stuff to come. Without further ado, I got some, I forgot I had this light. That helps out so much when you film. And I'm fine, so. And uh, what else can I show you? Some hoodies and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go at it. Holla at your boy, son. I love you so much. Get at me, dog.